had heard of all these names. They were investigators. But why were we all together in this one file drawer? Some were cops, others were private eyes like me. My name is Toby Peters. Sure, we'd all solved murders, protected our clients. But who would group us all together? What was the connection? I knew I could solve the mystery if I could just figure out the connection. Provided, of course, I could just get past my landlady, Mrs. Plout. Mr. Peters! <sighs> Mrs. Plout owned the boarding house where I lived on Heliotrope Drive in Hollywood. She was stone deaf, and it was somehow in audio contact with a world none of the rest of us could hear. She had also come to the conclusion that I was both a book editor and an exterminator. I had long since given up trying to correct her. Believe me, it's easier that way. Yes, Mrs. Plout, it is I. I'm in canning and pickling. I see. Watermelon pickles, fig pickles, chop suey pickles. Chop suey pickles. There's a war on, you know. <laughs> it hasn't escaped my attention. I have more pages of my family history that I'd like for you to read them tonight. Tonight. Breakfast will be at 8 a.m. Vitamin Pie. I expect you and Mr. Gunther at the table. Vitamin Pie. The bird. I have come to the sad conclusion. There's a strain of idiocy that runs in him. I have changed his name. She changed that poor bird's name on a weekly basis. I call him Westinghouse now. Westinghouse? <laughs> Mrs. Plout would forever remain a mystery to me. But as to the mysteries within these file folders, I knew if I could just read the clues, I could establish the connection.